Hey guys, in the Gospel of John, the fifth chapter, we see this guy that's sitting next to a pool. And whenever these pool waters are stirred, if he gets in first, he will no longer be a disabled man. He will be healed. And there's a lot of people that are in the area. There's the blind, there's deaf, there's all kinds of people that are waiting for this pool water to stir. And what it made me think of was the other day, my daughter is reading this book, but not the hippopotamus. And... Basically, this book goes through and there's all these different creatures, all these different animals that are, you know, doing things, but not the hippopotamus. And uh, as this book goes on, this hippopotamus is sad, like sad. I'm not I'm not a part of any of this. I, I can't do this or I'm not able to. And then all of a sudden the hippopotamus just basically gets to go run with all these people because they're like, hey, all these animals are like, come, come join us. And my daughter goes nuts every single time. She is so excited. She freaks out. She is so happy that this hippopotamus gets to run and no longer be sad. And so I think about this disabled man and I think about us. I think sometimes we have this poverty mindset that if someone else gets something, then we won't be able to have it. And this same man, you know, like all these people, he's been, he's been disabled for 38 years. I don't know how long he's been sitting at the pool, but how many people did he see get healed? You know, and how many people did he see, you know, like that had these awful conditions that all of a sudden are better, you know, but he's not happy. He's depressed right? And maybe that's us. Maybe we're sitting around, you know, we're seeing other people get blessings that we're not getting. And the thing about it is we, we, our blessing has nothing to do with their blessing. There is enough. There's enough for more than just us. Uh, this, this man was like, look, and he was looking at a limited resource. Every time the water was stirred, one person got healed. And Jesus is like, hey, if you open your eyes in front of you is the healing that you need pick up your mat and walk. And he heals the man on the spot. Our blessing is not tied to everyone else's. Let me say that again. Our blessing is not tied to everyone else's. You are blessed. You have an identity in God. And God's promises to you are in him. No one else's promises affect your promises to him. So if you have a blessing that you're not walking in, it's not because someone else got theirs. We need to learn how to rejoice in everyone else's. We need to learn to rejoice whenever someone else gets in the pool and all of a sudden God does a miracle work. So look around you. Thank God for the blessings around you, even if they're not yours. Thanks for taking a minute.